Good Thing's the album. Good Thing. The tour behind this record, the thing that stands out to me having seen these shows is how loose and confident you are. And those were not always words that described <laughs> Leon Bridges. Totally. I mean, where is that coming from? Is that just time on stage, time in front of audiences, or has there been some kind of yeah, I would block say, that you got over? I would say it's, it's always been there because I studied a performance and dance um, before the music. Um, but when I first started out, you know, it was kind of being like the new kid at school and, and being in front of people who know a lot about music and, and all, that cause all that kind of stuff made me hold back a little bit. But, I mean, just over time, just playing a grip of shows, you know, I've just become a better um, performer. And you've told me that you felt lucky that people were patient with you, that they, yeah. s they were there to sort of grow with you from the beginning, and they didn't dismiss you because they saw something that we're seeing now. Totally, yeah. I mean, in the beginning, I was compared to, you know, a lot of uh, the soul greats, and, and, and people would question, um, you know, you know, where's the charisma, and, you know, why is he like this guy, this guy? And, um, you, know, it, you know, and so, yeah, I, you know, just my own kind of person. <laughs> One of the most purely sort of, I don't even know how to describe it, you and I were in a car in Houston with Gary Clark Jr. Mm -hmm. listening to some early tracks from this record. I'm not even sure they're tracks that wound up on this record. Yeah, they didn't make it. But, <laughs> well, because they were out there. But they were yeah. so far out there. Mm -hmm. Gary, I mean, just ear to ear smile the, the whole time. Mm. And I saw that confidence mm. sort of come out in you that Gary was so into this. Describe your friendship and what that's meant over the last couple of years. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a, a rad brother. I remember meeting him for the first time at Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And, you know, we just had that, that whole Texas connect. And he was just like, oh, you from Texas? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, he was, you know, a hero for me. Um, but it's really rad having somebody like that, a, a, a friend like that in the music industry. You know, I feel like a lot of people um, are a little bit closed off, you know, to, to friendships um, like that. And it's just a genuine friendship, you know what I'm saying? Fame amplifies who you are. I mean, whatever it is you were before, you're now that. You're going to be that guy, but on a much bigger scale. What's the best and worst parts of you that it's amplified? Yeah. Um, I think the hardest thing for me is is, is kind of losing um, anonymity, you know, when I'm back home. You know, that's, you know, I have a lot of anxiety, you know, when I'm going to the grocery store. And, you know, people, you know, it's, it's awesome when people um, respect my, my work. But, you know, it's kind of a hard thing to deal with. There's a mural of you on the side of a building. <laughs> totally. <laughs> on the side of a studio. Yeah. yeah. How crazy is that? Like, especially where you came from. I mean, you know, from that mural, it's a five-minute drive to the place you were washing dishes. <laughs> um, have you figured out how to wrap your head around that? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything just moved, has moved so fast. You know, it's, it's really hard to... Um, I mean, to reflect on all of it. Um, but it's, it's, it's really beautiful, you know, to look back um, to where I was and, and to see, you know, th that people are digging what I'm doing, you know. What do you remember about those Sea Boys shows here? So right before South by Southwest, before the South by Southwest that everyone figured out who Leon Bridges is, he played two shows at Sea Boys for maybe 60 people a show. What do you remember about those, those warm-up gigs? Yeah, man. <laughs> um, I didn't really know what to think. You know, I, I just thought it was dope that there were people outside of my hometown that would come to see me, you know, at a show. Um, I mean, it was a really rad moment, you know, to see everybody, you know, enjoying the music. And it's dope to go from C-Boys to ACL, you know what I'm saying? Let alone the White House. And that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy.